I'm about to show you is the biggest transformation of the whole house so far. Yeah, it's not looking great. Let's do a little mini house haul. Aya, I'm back. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the abandoned channel. <laughs> I have not filmed a YouTube video in maybe five months. It's been a long time. I've basically not filmed a YouTube video since we got the keys to our new place because we've been renovating the said place for literally all this time. If you don't follow me on Insta, you won't know, or TikTok, you won't know that we've bought a renovation house and we've been renovating it for, well, since October. I'm back. I thought I'd go get a little coffee. I've got a coffee, I've got a pan of chocolate, which, can we take a second? I'm showing you the noddy and eaten. Eaten? I'm showing you the the part that I've not eaten. So I'm eating a pan of chocolate, I'm having a coffee. I thought I'd sit down with you, catch you back up with what you've missed. I also wanted to ask how you guys are. I'm not gonna lie, I have had messages from you lovely people saying like, just like wondering when the YouTube videos are gonna come back or if they are ever gonna come back. Um, I have kind of loosely referenced it in Instagram stories and stuff like, oh, I do miss vlogging, I wanna get back to vlogging, but yeah, this is actually a vlog on YouTube that's been uploaded, so hi. I thought we could just sit and sit and chill and I can catch you up on the house. This, this is the house, I am in the house, by the way, so you lucky little devils are gonna get to see some of the rooms that we've completed. A lot of it is done, to be honest. I'm just getting comfy, why not? Um, I've got a denim skirt on, by the way, I'm not just flashing you. Yeah, a lot of the house is actually done. It kind of feels like I'm having a little sit down chat with my mate, which is what I want it to feel like. Let's just crack on with the catch up. I wanted to basically create a little video that just kind of like eased myself back into vlogging. Like I don't want to start doing daily vlogs yet because the house is not done. I've said that I will get back into proper like a routine of vlogging when the house is finished but the house is, is not finished um so yeah I, I am in the house and we we do stay here but it's not it's not finished um i will show you little like sneak peeks of like the kitchen and stuff i do put like i'm pretty open with it on instagram and i'll just put a picture of our horrible kitchen on so that you can see what it looks like that is why i'm here we like stay here but it's, it's not finished so how the bloody hell are you um i know that well, I have had messages from people saying they've, um, what's the word? Like reminiscing on my old vlogs and like watching old vlogs because it's been really comforting. I wanna get back to filming content that does comfort people because that is literally the point of why I create content. I just want it to make people feel better. Better. But yeah, how the devil are you? Let me know in the comments or drop me a message. Let's chat and catch up. I have actually had a few messages from people saying like they're either renovating or like decorating or getting an extension and whatever and watching me do it on like Instagram and TikTok has been inspiring so whoever you are I hope your decorating is going well or whatever you're doing. I feel like I have literally been on a roller coaster, a renovation roller coaster for the past five months. I've done nothing else really. Me and Alex my boyfriend I don't know if I ever like proper introduced him on the channel. I mean I haven't introduced him and his face but my boyfriend is called Alex, for any of you who don't know. Um, so me and Alex bought the house together. We've been doing the house and like renovating it for the whole, like ever since we got the keys. The day we got the keys was very, very stressful. If any of you have bought a house um, or even renting, I imagine that's quite stressful as well. The day you got your keys, was it horrendously stressful? Because for us, it was ridiculously stressful. I actually luckily had the day off because I was hoping to get the keys at like, lunchtime didn't get the keys until five five o'clock if you want to hear more about the actual buying process and like i don't know any house questions if you want me to do like a house q a just let me know i feel like that would be useful and when we were looking for a house and when we were like going through the process of buying one all i did was watch people's house q a's just to like make me feel better about what i was going through and all that stuff i could talk about it all day yeah we are coming towards the end of the renovation now the house that we bought to give you like a little bit more context was or is it is a 1930s house so we reckon from like what we know it was built between 1930 and 1935 so pr pretty old relatively old in the grand scheme of things it was basically it was lived in but it was kind of abandoned only things that were necessary were done like 
it had been rewired for example so all the electrics were okay and safe but things that didn't need doing weren't done and a lot of things were bodged up so when we've been taking the room back to basics that's what we've done with pretty much every room we've just kind of stripped everything out we revealed some incredible finds when we did the bathroom transformation that was like quite a big one i won't actually show you the bit of the house in this vlog so i will show you the the bathroom but it was basically like a toilet in one room and then a bath and a sink in the other so we had to like well we didn't have to but we wanted to make it a big bathroom so we knocked the wall down built a new stud wall as well and when we were like knocking all of the tiles off when i say we alex did a lot of that to be fair there was like four layers of bathroom tiles so they just like tiled on top of tiles so when they got their like bathroom done the like however many sets of people who lived here previously they were just tiling over the top which is just absolutely wild and it is quite common in older properties for people to have done that i literally couldn't believe my eyes like why would you do that like some wild stuff we actually knocked out the tiles and this was we i actually did do this with him we knocked the tiles out of the kitchen that's what we're currently on with now by the way we're doing like project kitchen there was three layers of tiles in there some pretty horrendous tiles as well you would have not liked them i did not like them they were like white slash cream and then every like other one had like this weird flower on it it was not cool not pretty it's been a journey guys and i honestly feel like I don't know what I would have done if I'd have not been on this journey. Like I would have just, would I have just been sat at home just scrolling through TikTok? Like I feel like we've done so much. We have done so much. Being graft, proper grafting. Um, if you are even thinking about doing a renovation, I bear in mind we're about six weeks off of completing it. It won't be complete, complete, but it'll be it'll be livable with a nice kitchen and everything. Um, in about six weeks, we hope fingers crossed and at that point i'll probably move all of my stuff here that's the sort of stuff that i really want to vlog like moving all of my clothes over here and like how am i going to organize my makeup skincare all stuff like that like i want to vlog all of that stuff because i think you'd enjoy watching it and i would i love creating that content and i love watching it as well like yeah i'm um i am just going to quickly scran this pan of chocolate and then i'm going to show you around delicious pan of chocolate well and truly and it was delicious there's something about freshly baked pastry isn't there beautiful i'm going to show you around just turning the telly off i've been watching a bit of james martin this morning i'm going to show you around the bits the bits that are done um so you can see couldn't not start in the living room though um we've got this beautiful paneling the sofa that you can see is not one that we've bought it's actually one from family you might find that i'm just like kind of tidying things away as i'm like walking around i've got such a bad habit for that like when people come around i'm like oh I'm, I'm just gonna do this and people are like do you feel like when you're here you need to do stuff and i was like yeah there's so much to be done that's the kind of mentality i've got like let's get shit done now so yeah if i'm like tidying around as i go apologies so yes um that is not a sofa sorry i've got like a big um throw on the back of it it's not really a sofa that we've bought um we're gonna buy a proper three-seater sofa from ikea i think when uh when when the time is right but this is the sort of standout piece that i wanted to show you this has taken blood sweat and tears to put together but this is our gorgeous fireplace i feel like it's a little bit wonky but if i just sit there oh there we go um yeah this is our gorgeous fireplace um and we like put some panel in at the top there these are like alcoves, our coving up there. Mind the camping chair, that is what we've been literally sitting on for like six months until we got this sofa. But yeah, little like electric log burner, but we've made it look real with this little tube thing. Yeah, obsessed with that. Um, and that's our telly and our um, TV cabinet. So yeah, that's kind of the living room so far. The paneling looks absolutely amazing. No credit to me for that, Alex did all of it and it looks absolutely brilliant i think it looks really like grand and classy if the light's gonna adjust there we go yeah obsessed with it really super super happy with this room we just we just need to get it carpeted now but we've currently got some shit <laughs> on the floor and hiding underneath that shit is our worktops for the kitchen which are absolutely huge because they need to be cut down so they literally won't 
fit in any other room or like we can't really get them in other rooms because it, they're so awkward and like long so we can't get it carpeted yet is what i'm trying to say i mean if you want to see the kitchen i feel like i've big bigged it up like the kitchen this is it i mean yeah it's not looking great but it will it will look better the ceiling was absolutely <laughs> it was a mess and it looks even worse now but like i say we are stripping everything back to basics god it's so bright in here and then starting over again so yeah um i have kind of done the doors and the door frames but the actual kitchen is yet to be completed so i'm just gonna leave that in there for now and um, we can't actually shut the door because we've got so many materials on the floor like holding the door open so can't really show you much more of that in fact i'll just turn you around you may as well just see it in full force this is our gorgeous entrance way i'm just gonna make my way up the stairs so you can see it a little bit better so yeah that is our gorgeous entrance way it looks very like white at the minute but hopefully that will change when we get some like furniture in and not furniture but like maybe a side table over the radiator or something in that corner and then maybe like a big mirror on the wall here i feel like it looks quite black and white which is fine but i do like a little bit of color um so i feel like that will just come in time a lot of the house is like decorated well the whole house is decorated i think you can't really see how it's going to properly look until it's all furnished and stuff um so yeah oh my god you guys are going to literally die and go to heaven how freaking cute is this mirror we actually got this oh you can see my outfit as well um we actually got this from a vintage show it was like a little independent run thing and they had loads of bargains i think it was about 20 quid sorry i've just moved back a little bit we hope to put it there and then when people get to the top of the steps they can check themselves out and then carry it about their day what i'm about to show you is the biggest transformation of the whole house so far before you get there though we've got this probably the only like homely thing that we've actually put up is this william morris piece which my bestest friend got me for christmas and it's absolutely beautiful i also got carried away with the color and painted our loft hatch so it's quite actually nice like the blues and then the browns from this all go together um so yeah it's really really beautiful and also which you've not really seen on here just the whole house has got so many nice little features and one of them is this arch before you get to the bathroom so like as you're walking into the bathroom it's just a really nice scene scene <laughs> a really nice like picturesque little spot so yeah let's let's go into the bathroom so just to give you a little bit of context apologies i know you're probably dying to see in there but this used to be the toilet and there used to be a door here and then in here it used to be just the bath and the sink and now this is i don't even know the best way to show you this is the bathroom I'm trying to give you a good pan around i'm gonna go in myself um there's been a few showers this morning so sorry about that this is the shower and the toilet our beautiful bath mat would highly recommend it's from next and yeah it kind of goes all the way around this is our old style old style toilet and then this little beauty which i think a lot of you will like is our heated towel rail the towels do not look very picturesque at the minute apologies but yeah it's absolutely beautiful um this towel rail i fought long and hard to get that one it was a toss-up between that kind of like long one with the two towel handle things um but a lot of the victorian traditional style heated towel rails are a lot lower and they've just got one one rail to put your towels on but we went for the huge one went a bit extra for that one and yeah i mean the standout is kind of the bath i am a little bit obsessed i actually bought this bath tray last weekend picked up these by the way i don't know if any of you guys have tried these they are the monday volume shampoo and then i also got the monday moisture conditioner not tried them yet but very very intrigued it was the packaging that got me and then they were on offer for like £3.33 rather than a fiver, so yeah, um, kind of got a good deal on them. And then I've got my little molten brown shower bath gel and then a little Jo Malone as well. This one is like obviously so expensive, so I'm trying to sparingly use that one. Yeah, cute little windowsills. We're so lucky to have two windows in our bathroom. Obviously, that's quite rare, and I'm just using the windowsills as storage at the minute. This is our little light up mirror 
which is kind of modern. I actually wanted like a circle mirror and then two lights at either side of it. But I mean, this bathroom was such a journey, like getting it done itself. The original plan was actually to have the sink here. Um, so you'd kind of like go to the toilet, do your business and then go straight to the sink there. But the sink, cause it's like Victorian style is so much like um, deeper than a usual modern sink. So the plumber originally who we like worked with on the bathroom was kind of like, yeah, that'll be fine. And then when he realized that we had all this old, huge appliances, he was like, right, okay. So yeah, the actual sink was gonna go there. We even ordered our lights to go either side of the mirror there. Cause I thought you could like walk in and then it'd be a huge mirror there and it'd be beautiful, which it would have been, but it wouldn't have um, fit and worked out. So yeah, that was such a drama. Like we even got the electrics done to have the two lights at either side. And then it was like, okay, we can't do that anymore. So last minute we had to order that. I like it though. Like obviously it's a little bit modern compared to the rest of the bathroom, but I also feel like this shower screen is quite modern, but it still like goes with the rest of the bathroom. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you guys, are as obsessed with it as me. A lot of people were very, very, um, they weren't a huge fan of the idea of this like old toilet, but I think it looks bloody beautiful. Whether you're renovating or whatever you're doing, if you're making like a big decision about your house, my top tip would be go for what you want. Do not let other people shade your ideas. Like I, at first, when we first got this house, and I had all these ideas for what I wanted in different rooms. I was quite open with people telling them like what I was gonna do. And when someone didn't like it, I was a bit like, oh, and I was questioning it myself. Like, oh yeah, maybe, maybe that's not right. Or, oh yeah, maybe that'd look horrible or whatever. But then I thought, actually, it's my house. I'm gonna do what I want. And then I did, and it, it looks just how I wanted it to. So yeah, please don't let anyone else put you off stuff go with your gut it'll look good if you think it's gonna look good it probably will sometimes people just don't have the imagination um you know and then as you like walk out of the bathroom you see the the nice print so yeah again looking quite white up here um apart from the banister painted all of the banister in off black by far own ball and then we've got this beautiful chandelier as well um which is pretty pretty cute so this is the next room this is the first room we actually finished in the house, so you'll have seen quite a lot of pictures of this if you follow me on Instagram. In like December, it was the end of December we, we finished it and we did it because we were staying over on New Year's Eve. So we were like, Shh, we need to get a bedroom ready. So yeah, this is actually going to be the like guest bedroom, spare bedroom, whatever you want to call it. You walk in and this is what you see. These are our built-in wardrobes. These were already here, but they did not look like this. They were the original like wooden material and we, we painted them this beautiful green colour and put some panelling on them as well. Added these really nice gold handles. These are from Amazon if you're interested. And yeah, actually inside the wardrobes is a few clothes and then mainly just things that we've bought for the kitchen or rooms that we can't get the nice stuff out in yet. This is our bed i'm pretty pretty in love this is one of my favorite things in this room it's this beautiful ceiling light it looks a bit like paper it's from donnell mill but it's proper beautiful i love it super simple but super beautiful yeah i've got my little flash mop in the background yeah this is the kind of room that has been finished for the longest i might take a little seat on the bed whilst wrapping up the vlog yeah this is the room that's been finished for the longest and the only thing that i really want to add in here is a few prints above the bed and then the room will be pretty much finished um we actually got this bed a few people have been asking about this bed and it's from dreams i just ordered it online um it was on offer and i really liked it i knew i wanted like quite a simple bed in here because the one that we've got for our like master bedroom is <laughs> it's it's big it's 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 big it's juicy it's a king king size bed it's got this huge headboard and it's very jazzy so i kind of wanted to go more like simple in here and then i thought if we do decide to change the color of the wardrobes or anything we can and the bed will always go in the room that is kind of 
it in terms of what I can show you, what's done. We've pretty much finished the study, which I could show you on this vlog, but I wanna, you know, keep keep you guessing. I wanna, you know, there needs to be something to show you next time. We are nearly done in our bedroom as well, but it's kind of a bit of a work in progress. Different rooms are used for different things. Even now, like we're cutting wood in rooms and stuff like that. So it's just not, it's not gonna be ready, um, ready yet. That is pretty much what I've got to show you. I mean, the vlog could go on and on. I could show you everything that I've bought for the house, but I want to officially pick up the vlog camera and properly start vlogging when the house is finished and we're actually living here. And I just feel the creative juices flowing when, when I'm in somewhere that inspires me. And obviously we've, well, I've really, Alex has been really great. He's just let me kind of do what I want with like decorating and stuff. I've kind of made this house. It's gonna be so like inspiring for me. It's gonna be just my style. It's gonna be done how I want it to be done. And I'm gonna be able to style it the way I want. And that's just, to me, it just makes me want to create content and be creative. So yes, I hope you like what you've seen so far. You can kind of see the vibe that we're going for, like kind of keeping the character of the house. I am gonna love you and leave you, I think. This has been, well, it's probably gonna end up not being a short vlog, but it's been short for me because I've just filmed it in the morning, but it was really, really nice to pick up the vlog camera again. I actually felt, this is kind of going off topic a little bit but I felt quite like nostalgic the other day because it's three years since lockdown I literally do not know how it's three years am I right with that yeah because we're in 2023 and it was 2020 obviously lockdown is when we started the book club which was amazing Daisy Jones and this this is probably why like Daisy Jones and the Six which is one of the first books it was the second book actually that we read in the book club and they recently well, literally just the other week, did a adaptation of it on Amazon. Yeah, like it's just wild that it's been three years since lockdown. And in lockdown, I vlogged a lot, uploaded a lot of content and really, really got into it. And yeah, I don't know if any of you guys get this, but like, do you ever have like flashbacks to something or think about something a lot when it's a year anniversary or two years anniversary or three years anniversary? Like three year anniversary of lockdown just makes me think of like, being at home, it was beautiful weather, I had a shit fringe, I had a shit haircut full stop, I had like this weird bob, filmed a lot, read a lot of books. Um, that's another thing I've literally not done. I've literally, I was saying this at work the other day and I haven't read a book since getting the offer accepted on this house, I don't think, which was July last year. So literally nearly a year, I've literally not read a book. And reading a book to me is what I enjoy so much. I've literally just done stuff to do with this house i've been so distracted with it so i'm so excited to get back into vlogging reading doing what i enjoy so yeah hopefully the all the nice stuff will just all happen at once but yeah i'm actually gonna go shopping now with my mum and we're gonna go buy some home stuff so yeah wish my my bank account luck but it's been really really nice vlogging today i've enjoyed it a lot hope you enjoyed watching this vlog i hope you like the how i look forward to chatting with a few of you i have no doubt that i will be speaking to a few of you who've missed the vlogs hope this one hope this was all right for you thank you so much for watching i feel like it won't be new subscribers on this video it will definitely be like long-standing subscribers so thank you for subscribing and if you are new which you're probably not um the subscribe button is down below let me know what you thought of this video let me know what you thought of the house and yeah i will catch you guys very very soon in a new video i'm thinking when the kitchen is done so a couple of weeks um but yeah have a great day whenever you're watching this and i'll see you soon bye